Also, if the history would have been looked at even further, they would have found out from 10 years old, 18 years old, this individual experienced a lot of neurological issues, even motor and vocal tics. And again, we have the interplay, not only of the GI tract, the immune system, but of our nervous system. Again, we got the enteric nervous system linked to the central nervous system, the brain from the vagus nerve. This is a lot of research talking about GI, GI diseases being linked to our neurological issues such as anxiety and depression. It says right here, GI diseases along with their comorbidity of depression and anxiety and up to 80% of patients they were showing an alteration of microbiota and that affects the central nervous system function. Right here you're talking about um, inflammatory cytokines crossing the blood-brain barrier. We talked about that. And it talks about here the brain receiving hormonal signals from these cells in the GI tract. Remember what we talked about before. We have the enteric nervous system there, and we have in the GI tract neurotransmitters and hormones being released that have an effect on the brain. Now whether that's inhibitory neurotransmitters like GABA, we also have serotonin. Well of course if we're going to have damage and inflammation of the gut, we're going to have a decrease in that serotonin. That's been linked to depression. We're going to have a decrease in GABA. We have a decrease in inhibitory neurotransmitter. Again, we're going to have our hyperactivity disorders such as ADHD. And it talks about that bidirectional talk, again, the gut-brain axis, enteric nervous system, the brain being linked by the vagus nerve. And I love what it says. I starred that there in the bottom. That study, right in that research article, by modulating microbiota, you may modulate the mind. And again, things like depression, anxiety. I, I encourage individuals all the time, go to PubMed.gov and just type in gut microbiota in any neurological condition you want to look up, especially depression, especially anxiety, autism, ADHD, it's right there about the gut-brain connection. The research is there, it's very, very abundant. So what is this patient's current treatment and health status? Well, what a very individualized nutritional protocol to do what? To heal the gut lining and to support the mitochondria. What that's going to do is that's going to shut off that chronic inflammation because would we say that chronic inflammation is coming because of a damaged gut and it's coming because of mitochondrial dysfunction. So again, for mitochondrial support, again, those building blocks for energy production, that L-carnitine, that CoQ10, that D-ribose, that magnesium, certain B vitamins, if those building blocks are there for mitochondrial support, we're going to have energy production. And that's why this individual doesn't have that chronic fatigue anymore because their energy production was supported at the most basic level. So where is this individual currently? Well, from age 27, remember I said from age 20 to 27, this individual kept getting worse, was in about 10 out of 10 pain on all those medications. Currently, from age 27 to 36, for the last nine years, this individual has the least amount of pain they've ever had in their life. It fluctuates between a zero out of 10 to a two out of 10 on a daily basis. In addition to that, for the last nine years, this individual has been on no prescription medications. So you can see the time on no prescription medications has exceeded the time this person was on prescription medications. And again, this individual keeps getting better. Why? Because he gave his body the building blocks at the source. Healed the gut lining, stopped the chronic inflammation, supported the mitochondria for enhanced energy production. And another thing this individual does is a specialized exercise program called foundation training. And what that does is strengthens the muscles of the back to support the spine with this individual's condition of ankylosing spondylitis. That is chronic inflammation of the spine. This is very supportive for that. Some people say it's too extreme what this individual has to do. Whether that's the nutritional protocol, the supplements, the exercise. They say that is too extreme. Not if you've experienced that kind of pain where somebody can't walk on a daily basis, needs to take a chair to step to walk down a hallway, has to lay in bed because of chronic fatigue. When you experience that kind of pain and that kind of fatigue, nothing's too extreme. Why do I know that? Because this was my case. That was my story. I took you guys through a journey of what I went through for the last 18 years. And over a decade, that is what my life was like. It was like in a prison cell. 
of my own body with that chronic pain, with that chronic fatigue. And today, my life is like this. And that's what it feels like to overcome that chronic pain, to overcome that chronic fatigue. And that's part of my mission of what I'm doing is encourage individuals, if they support their body at the most basic level, they do not have to be on these prescription medications with all these side effects, and they can experience success. Thank you.